Okay, we have a very good one today. This one's from the MIT integration, be 2024, quarterfinals, round four, problem three. We have the integral of sine x times cos x over one plus sine x times one plus cos x dx. Okay, so I didn't really know where to start with this one, but one thing I want to do is I want to know what's it going to look like if I just multiply out this denominator here. If we do that, just distribute everything out, you're going to have one plus sine x plus cos x plus sine x cos x. But then the thing I notice here is that this piece, just this last thing, this is the same thing we have in the numerator. So if I can actually add all this to it, then we've got an integral with one. So what I'll do is just create a first integral with all this stuff right here in the numerator. So by doing that, we've created this first integral that's just gonna be one, but I don't wanna change it, so what I need to do, since I added all this, I need to subtract this off in a second integral, so we'll just create this second integral where we're subtracting everything off. But then I can just take care of this one, we'll just integrate one, and we get our first piece, that's just gonna be x. Then for this second one, I'm gonna rewrite again, but what I wanna do is for this one, I can write one as sine squared x plus cos squared x, that way it's gonna work with these other terms. So when I do that for that one, we'll have sine squared x, I'm gonna go out of order and create this cosine squared x over here. And then we have this sine x right here, and then, what, then we have that cosine x at the end. But then what I can do is just factor in the numerator and rewrite the integral. So like here, I can factor out a sine x because we've got that in common. And over here, I can factor out a cosine x because we have that in common. And then I can break it into two integrals. So for this first one, factoring it, we'll factor the sine. We'll have sine x, this is gonna become, I'm gonna change the order just to make it clear that we're gonna get cancellation. So I'm gonna write it as one plus sine x all over this. And then for the second one, doing the same thing, distributing in the minus sign, this is gonna become cosine x times one plus cosine x. And this is gonna be all over the same denominator. But then I can cancel one plus sine x here and here. I can cancel one plus cosine x here and here. But now with what we have left here, each of these two integrals is gonna be pretty easy. I'm just gonna make a little more space and so we can finish this off. Okay, now from here what I can do is a u substitution on each of these, so we'll do separate u substitutions. Here we'll do u equals one plus cosine x, take a derivative, and this is gonna become minus sine x dx. In order to create this, what I'm gonna do, let's just multiply in the minus sign right here, so that way we've got exactly our du in the numerator. And then over here, we'll do something really similar. We'll do a t substitution, one plus sine x, take a derivative, dt is gonna be just cosine x dx. So doing these simultaneously, what's going to happen is we're going to have x plus the integral here of du over u, then minus, this one's just going to become dt over t. Doing this, what's going to happen is we're going to get x plus natural log of u minus natural log of t. So I just need the back substitute in order to finish this off, but one thing I can do is combine these and write this as a fraction, write this as natural log u over t. We can put absolute value on there, so we can write it like this. So when I do this, for my final solution, we're gonna have just x plus natural log one plus cosine x over one plus sine x, add a plus c, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good problem from MIT 2024. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.